Good day all, welcome back to another ASH applications video. Um, I'm just going to give you a, a quick update on where the channel is and then what my uh, plans are for the future. So I started this channel back in uh, 2018 um, just so I can pass on a few tips and tricks that I've, um, um, I've stumbled through over the years uh, during my service within the Australian Army and I thought there was a really good platform to use YouTube for and, and I'm glad I did because it's really good to pass on those tips and I, I enjoy answering the questions and, and I like to keep the you know guys and gals out there um, doing the hard yards, making sure you're looking sharp while you're doing so. So um, just a quick update. So uh, I'm going to start off with my three um, top um, viewed uh, videos. And that is, you know, uh, the first one there is how to place brass on ceremonial belt and polyester trousers, the hints and tips. Um, you know, that, that was up to 40K at, at the time of filming, which was astounding. And, and I can see why, because it does, it's a simple thing, but you know, like most simple things, it, it do, they do have um, hints and tips for you there. And the, the takeaway for that one, my favorite one, and it used to drive me insane, was people um, polishing brass on the belt. You never get away with it. So, you know, no one trying to um, put that across as the number one thing from that video. The second one there is how to bash an Australian sloucher. Uh, a good looking hat um, and, and it's an iconic bit of headwear. So you really need to look after that. That identifies you from every army in the world um, and, and the, the history behind it, the tradition behind it. Um, you know, it's something everyone who wears that thing should be proud of. So that's a good one for me, and I've, and I've made follow-up videos for that on, on how to do the different types of bashes, how to clean it, etc., etc. So it just goes on, um, and and it's really I I just love I just love that hat, I really do. Uh, next one there is the leather belt restoration. Uh, that was a surprising one for me. I didn't expect it to get up to 33k. Um, where it's hitting now. Um, it's just a simple one for me. I just had a belt there that I was wearing all the time at work and um, dinged up and then always refurbished it to make it look good. Anyone could do that and um, you should be doing that with all your leather goods on. That's my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's, that was a good one to make and it was a simple one. Anyone could do it. Most of the stuff that I do, yeah, anyone can do. So, you know, as a project or getting into it, you know, start off and then you just you just quickly pick up things and it'll flow through it. And it's an application. You apply yourself and you'll get there. Um, right, now on to my two favourites. So my favourite ones um, that I enjoyed making the most uh, thus far. Um, I enjoyed um, the old slouch hat refurbishment. Um, so, you know, this one here, that's, that, that's Benno's old hat. I don't know where um, it, it was being, you know, maybe, I don't know what he did with it to get it, but, and then just to look at the, how it was and how it turned out, it even surprised me. I didn't think it was going to come up anywhere um, as to what it did. It just shows you how tough and resilient those things are. So that's, that's an easy, easily um, a 30-year-old hat. Um, in the condition that it was to what it is, amazing. Uh, and then my second favourite, I, I liked all, I mean, I like making all of them, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, it's a labour of love, but the, the ones that I, you know, particularly like, especially the getting out onto the range with um, Benno and, and Miles and, and the boys just to um, get out there and shoot the 303s. And um, I particularly like the first one that Benno and I did. Uh, that was an awesome day. Um, I, I got out back on the range again after, you know, not going out to the range for, for a couple of years and, and it just rejuvenated um, my love for the sport and, and to use those, you know, legendary and um, classic rifles. Uh, it was just a, a really great day. Um, so on to my next, on to my next things that I'm, um, I'm planning to do. Um, I've got some projects. All right, so um, the first one's um, Project Pathfinder. I'm still working on that one, and I'll explain all of my projects in another video because it'll just go on too long if I do it on, on this one. But I'm still working on Project pa Project Pathfinder. I'll get that out. And uh, that's still going on. Um, 
it, it just takes a little bit of coin to get it to where I need to be. And I'll explain the, uh, the whole, if you're not familiar with it, I'll explain the whole concept in, a, in another video. Um, I'm also working on Project X, um, which is also in the same sort of concept as Project Pathfinder and deals with the second book. All right, so a bit of a teaser there. Um, and don't forget, I've also got in our eBay store, um, I've also got all of our um, slow chat carriers, uh, slow chat press and carriers for sale, and that goes all the way through from the, the top shelf, uh, the premium models, which is our 0 .303 heritage range, all the way through to, you know, our El Naturel um, items in there. They're, they're all awesome. If you own a slow chat, you must take care of your slow chat. Um, do yourself a, a red hot favor and buy one of these things. It'll last longer than you will. Um, and the way they, that I make them and the way that they're presented, um, they are a showcase item. I, I have them hanging on my wall in my study at home uh, because they are that good. Um, so they present the slouch chat in, in an awesome way. Um, we've also got there a black shoe polish kit. Um, so everything that you need for polishing a black shoe or boot uh, is contained in that one kit. So you don't have to shop around. You can just trust me to do the hard work and get you the products that you need. It's got all everything that you need from um, a conditioner all the way through to a horsehair brush. And um, to top it off with a, a stocking to give you that gloss, high gloss finish just from a brush shine. Shine, it's it's an amazing product and they and they work extremely well. I uh, also have coasters there, um, colossal coasters, which are, are pretty interesting, and um, also have coasters that we've used when we go out to the range. That you know um, we shoot them so they've got bullet holes in them, right? So what other coasters have bullet holes in them? You know, you, only, you can only get them from me. Um, different calibers there, from you know um, 0.22 all the way up to uh, 303 so that's awesome um, I'm also working on um, doing another giveaway uh, once we get to 2,000 subscribers um, so and this I was going to do one at 1,000 but I wanted to get um, all of my items that I'm going to present as the giveaway um, together and ready to go before I did that um, so it'll be 2,000 will be the milestone um, I'll do another video on uh, requirements to, to go in the running for that. But hopefully it'll be um, coming up soon. But uh, I just wanted to finish off by thanking everyone for um, you know sharing your feedback. Uh, whenever the, whenever people um, say you know that was a great video, it helped me out. That that's that's what I want. That's that's what I strive for um, to help everyone out there just to get through. Um, whatever issue they're having with the uniform, come out the other side and, and make sure they look good representing the, um, our country. All right, so that's enough for me. Um, thanks very much for your time on that one. Um, I've got uh, a couple more to do um, and I'll push them out. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for your time. Bye now.